Hey guys, Mel Modeler here. Kit review time for you today. We're looking at Italeri's latest battle set, the Air Assault on Saint Meraglis. Now, before we dive into the box, this one has a special place in my heart. Um, my late father and I went to Normandy in 2015, and yeah, we did all the sites of D Day, and of course, we went here. Uh, so let's take a look at some pictures of that now. Okay, well, let's dive into the box then. Uh, first of all, let's take a look at this wonderful box art. Um, you've got the famous paratrooper there, stuck on the church spire. And you've got the, the battle going on. And here we have details of the content. So we have the MDF laser cut church. We have some urban accessories. We have US paratroopers, 48 figures, German infantry, 50 figures, and we have the STKFZ 251 stroke 1 Alf C. Right, let's have a look inside the box. Inside the box, then, we have our information sheet, uh, which tells us. A little bit of the history in lots of different languages, which is nice to see, all in colour. And we have our painting instructions for the German infantry. Then we have the paint instructions for the US paratroopers. Here we have our paint schemes for the urban accessories and the instructions on how to assemble those as well and we've got some example images of those in the diorama looking very nice indeed then coming across we have details on how to make the paratrooper stuck up on the church spire so we're cutting his arm off and then repositioning it then we're building the parachute out of tin foil, interestingly. Um, so you need to find a, a glass that looks like that. And yeah, you're molding that around there. And then effectively you flatten that, attach it to the church spire, attach your figure to it, and job done. Then we have the SD KFZ. 251 stroke 1 alf c try saying that five times fast uh this is from their fast assembly range which uh is quite a nice little kit that you get instructions there and what i think is really cool here is that with the decals you've got uh one that was actually at san Marigles. we've uh, obviously looked into that and you've even got the number plate very nice touch indeed. Uh, so then coming across, we have the church and obviously some painting, roof, walls, window, wooden window. Now, obviously, as you've seen from those pictures, I've already been there. So that's very much what I will be using as reference. Then we have some freehand accessories. So these are not included in the set, but it's how you build your diorama. Now, obviously, we'll do this as a full build video, so you'll be able to watch the steps that I take. But these are some really good examples. And I've seen this in a few of their battle sets. They use the little off pieces of the MDF, and then you paint those up, and you get some... Nice little ammunition boxes. Very cool touch, that. Uh, then we have the road signs. 
as decals and you've got a little template there. The recommendation is to use plastic card or thin cardboard. And here you can see an example of the diorama made up. Very nice indeed. We also have the MDF church. Uh, we'll come onto that in a second because I just want to have a look at some of these other bits in the box. So there's your urban accessories. Drain holes there. Bench with 170 second scale wood grain. Very nice indeed. There's your German half track. See, not too many pieces there, but enough to, to do the job. In this bag, we have the US paratroopers. And you can see we've got a couple there. Now, I might try and get a couple that actually are coming down and landing with the parachutes open. Um, and then here we have the German infantry. Mortarman there. Got some snipers. All very nice indeed. And finally, we have our rather small decal sheet. Very nice indeed. Okay, let's have a look at this MDF church. Well, as you can see, it comes in a little pack like this. Got your laser cut stuff there and this is going to be the instructions so i'm going to pause open this up and we're going to take a look so as you can see we start our assembly coming across We start work on the roof area. Then you build the tower. That slots into that gap there. Um, then we have our church already done. Oh, I think. Yeah, I've got two sets of instructions here, <laughs> so I'll only need the one. Um, anyone wants the spare let me know um, so yeah we've, we've gone through this so it's it's relatively straightforward he says now I've done some of these before uh, anyone who has seen my uh, Stalingrad short uh, you'll know uh, but yeah these are really good fun and if we have a look actually at the MDF itself You can see how the laser cut really does give you some great little details. And these slot together and you probably don't necessarily need glue, but certainly helps. Uh, and yeah, you've got seven of these sheets. And I don't want to lose any, so I'm being careful here. But you can see there's lots of stuff there. Um, obviously, like I say, Join me for the build video when I eventually get round to this and you'll see exactly how big it is. Um, based on that, it's going to be about that big. It's my hand. I don't think it's going to be too much bigger than that. So uh, nice sizable diorama, I would say, uh, but not huge. Right, before we close off this video I just want to have a look at the underneath box because this gives us some images as to what the finished diorama should look like so again I'll be using my photos as reference but we've got the, the wall there the trees some details here you can see there's the the road signs 
there's the half track you've got a nice little trench there which you can see is over the back there yeah so all in all i think this is going to be a fabulous little battle set um let me know what you think in the comments are you gonna pick one up and yeah join me for the next video and most importantly join me for the build video of this one when i get round to it so watch this space and catch you on the next one guys